Hi, welcome to Speak Spanish with Maria Fernandez. I'm Maria Fernandez, and this podcast is brought to you by my Spanish learning website, querapido.com. At querapido.com, you can see the free transcript of this lesson. To get it, tap the link in the episode description on your mobile device. Today's question comes from Samantha, one of my newsletter subscribers. She asks, how can I master the Spanish numbers? Native speakers always say them so fast. And Samantha is right. The numbers are always said very fast by native Spanish speakers. So what's the easiest way to learn them? The easiest, the absolute easiest way of learning the Spanish numbers is with good speaking and listening drills. In future episodes of this podcast, I'll give you some great speaking and listening drills to master the numbers. But today we're going to focus on some points that will help you in the learning process. The first issue that I want to focus on is the pronunciation. In order for people to understand the numbers that you are saying, you need to be saying them correctly. Saying the numbers correctly, pronouncing the numbers correctly is absolutely essential if you want people to understand you. Also, the better you say the numbers, the easier you'll find it to understand them when other people say them. So, which sounds exactly do you need to focus on? Without any question, the five vowels. A, E, I, O, U. So, notice, for example, how I say these numbers. Dos, cuatro, siete, quince. Are you saying them like that? Dos, cuatro, siete, quince. Notice how clearly I'm saying the vowels. Dos, cuatro, siete, quince. Also notice that you can never drop the last E in numbers like siete, nueve, trece, veinte. If you drop the last E in those numbers, native speakers will never understand what you're saying. Before I continue with this lesson, let me remind you that on YouTube, you can listen to every episode of this podcast 48 hours before anywhere else. My YouTube channel is Speak Spanish with Maria. You can see the link in the episode description on your mobile device. Another pronunciation point is the diphthongs. That's two vowels together in numbers like seis, veinte, treinta, cien. Notice how I say the two sounds seis, veinte, treinta, cien. The vowels e and i are both said. The vowel e is always longer than the i, but the i is still there. Seis, Veinte, treinta, cien. So watch out for the diphthongs in your numbers. Another important point when it comes to learning the numbers well and fast is to notice the difference between numbers that look very similar. Sesenta, setenta, sixty, seventy, sesenta, setenta, dos. Doce, two, twelve, dos, doce, tres, trece, three, thirteen, tres, trece. So watch out for those numbers that you could mistake for another one. A good trick to learn the Spanish numbers quickly is to find similarities between them. What do I mean by that? For example, notice the similarities between dos, number two, and doscientos, two hundred, dos, doscientos. And you can find plenty of similarities between Spanish numbers. Here are some of them. Tres, treinta, trescientos, three, thirty, three hundred, tres, treinta, trescientos, Cuatro, cuarenta, cuatrocientos, four, 
forty, four hundred, cuatro, cuarenta, cuatrocientos, seis, dieciséis, sesenta, seiscientos, six, sixteen, sixty, six hundred, seis, dieciséis, sesenta, seiscientos, siete, setenta, setecientos, seven, seventy, seven hundred, siete, setenta, setecientos, ocho, ochenta, ochocientos, eight, eighty, eight hundred, ocho, ochenta, ochocientos, nueve, noventa, novecientos, nine, ninety, nine hundred, nueve, noventa, novecientos, and so on. Go through the Spanish numbers and try to find similarities between them. You'll notice how much easier it is to learn Spanish words when you can find similarities between them. And finally, there is another trick that I really like, and it's to find similarities between the Spanish numbers and some English words. Here are some of them. The number one, uno, and the English word, unity. Uno, unity. And here are a few others. Dos, number two. Dos, and duo, duet. Number three, tres, and the word triangle. Tres. Number four, cuatro, and the word quadruple. Cuatro, quadruple. Number eight, ocho, and the word octopus. Ocho, octopus. Remember that the animal has eight arms. That's why it's called octopus. Ocho, octopus. Number twelve, doce, and the word dozen. Doce, dozen. And finally, number one hundred, cien, century. Cien, century. These tips should all help you learn the Spanish numbers faster. You can find those tips applied to the number lessons in my Spanish video course. That's a course with plenty of real conversations and role-playing exercises. It also has pronunciation practice and vocabulary flashcards where you can learn new words really easily, including the numbers. To find out more about my Spanish course, go to kerapido.com forward slash course or simply tap the link in the episode description on your mobile device.